So for day six, we're gonna do a bit of bonus content. Now, remember yesterday, we had these tick boxes do some activities for us. If B column had some writing in and we did the ticks box, it would change our E column to either in progress or done. And that's all well and good, but I want it to look a bit funkier and a bit more obvious for me looking at this to-do list quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna think about conditional highlighting. So what I'm doing here is if it says in progress, First of all, I'm changing it to a green color. So I'm just doing the text. When we looked at the priority, we did the background. For this one, I'm doing the text color. So I've changed it to in progress being green, but actually having a look at it, I think done would probably make more sense being green. And the reason I've done this is to show you that you can very easily go back into your conditional formatting once you've clicked done, just reopen um, that paintbrush, and then you can go straight back into it and change what you want the rule to be. So I've now got in progress as yellow, done as green, but still I need a bit more visual. So this time we're gonna add in some formula. So I've gone down to the cell button and clicked um, add formula. Remember you can just click the equals button. I'm going to use the if um, rule again. And just so you know, if you double click on where you've got the function, you can get a bit of an explanation about it in Apple numbers. So it's a really good way of learning about what different things do. So for this one, I would like um, a bit of an added visual when I have in progress going on. So I am going to say if the button or the, or the cell equals in progress, so if there is the words in progress in that box, I want another visual. So I'm going to use the emoji keyboard and not many people know that you can put emojis into these as well. Remember to add in those quotation marks because it's those that are going to show you what's going to go in the box. So I'm now telling it, if it's in progress, we've got that little um, sort of working on it. I'm doing now a nested if statement. So rather than closing the bracket of the first if statement, I'm adding another one in. And I'm doing the same thing with the word done. And I'm gonna add an emoji for done. Notice in the first if statement, I didn't have a false statement. In this one, I must add in a false statement. So I'm gonna add in a section where the quotation marks have nothing in between it. I then need to close our two ifs, so I need to add in two bracket closings. You'll notice if I add more, it just doesn't work. It doesn't show them correctly. So now what happens is when I click, click the enter button and then I go down to cell bottom right, I can autofill all the rest of the cells so they all have exactly the same formula in it. So just autofill, drag it down, and you can see that it's relating to what the word is, but there isn't one if there isn't a word in that E cell. And that's because I put in that false one as well. Okay, thank you, well done. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.